Well, there's a new hotel plan for downtown Waco, but some local hotel owners are not happy about it. They think the 150,000 square foot hotel near Baylor University should not move forward. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza tells us why these business owners say approval could show the city is playing favorites. You probably recognize where I'm standing. The Robinson Tower is right behind me, and this is the area where the Brasses Commons Development is trying to build an 11-story hotel, the project worth $129 million. It's on the agenda, but it will be deferred uh, until there's some more information. That's the second time this item on the commissioner's court agenda has been pushed back. I think uh, we should know this in advance, you know, if they're going to do this, because uh, I want to make sure that I want to be here. The issue involves incentive funds to help with the development of the Drury Plaza Hotel. They're wanting the city to put in uh, $1.75 million and the county to put in $1.75 million, a total of $3.5 million between the two out of our economic development fund. The tax increment financing zone board, also known as TIF, is already contributing $7.9 million to the project. And then they'll still need another three and a half million to make their project where it can complete. Something angering local hotel owners. It will create a uh, unfair competition with us. They, are, they will be at the advantage. Sunny Demra is part owner of what will become the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott, a hotel just a block and a half from the Drury. I think that's very, very unfair. He says he only received $200,000 in incentive funds, and if he knew this was going to happen, he would have never developed his hotel in downtown Waco. Now the big question the commissioners are facing is... Should we use the economic development money that's used for bringing industrial jobs to McLennan County and Waco? for a hotel. The hotel would have 160 rooms, an 8,000 square foot conference center, a six floor rooftop swimming pool, restaurant and parking garage. They should put their own money. Why they want to have their public money? I did reach out to the city of Waco and the Waco Chamber of Commerce, but none had a comment. The project would start late next year and wrap up in 2019. In Waco, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.